First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, bracket, power cord, cigarette adapter, video cable and T-taps. Pick up the bracket. Tighten the screws. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Tear off the protective film at the bottom of the bracket. Place it where you want and pull down the buckle. There are two wires on the monitor extension cable, AV1 and AV2. The reversing camera is connected to the AV1 channel, reversing priority. Pick up the video cable. Connect the 4-pin connector of the video cable to AV1 on the monitor extension cable. Pick up the camera. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Remove the protective film on the camera. Connect another 4-pin connector to the camera. Connect the cigarette lighter to the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect the DC connector to the cigarette lighter. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up. The image appear on screen. When the guideline appear on the screen, touch the up key to turn off on the guideline. Touch the M key when the H appear the screen. Touch the up or down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Touch the M key when the V appear the screen. Touch the up or down key to move the guideline to the left or right. Touch the M key when the W appear the screen. Touch the up or down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the M key to switch to the brightness. Touch the up or down key to adjust the brightness. Touch the M key to switch to the contrast. Touch the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Touch the M key to switch to the saturation. Touch the up or down key to adjust the saturation. Touch the M key to switch to the tint. Touch the up or down key to adjust the tint. Touch the M key to switch to the language. Touch the up or down key to select the language you want. Touch the M key to switch to the pairing line. Touch the up or down key to turn on, off the guideline. Touch the M key to switch to the reset. Touch the M key again to quit the menu mode. Touch the up key to turn off the guideline. When the guideline not appear on the screen, touch the M key to switch to the brightness. Touch the ESC key to quit the menu mode. Touch the power key to turn off, on the screen. Touch the up key to turn on the guideline. Now it's a V1 channel. There is a green and a white thin wire on the camera extension cable. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can see LED light. Use a tool to cut the green line. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can't see LED light. The monitor is now in mirror rear view. Use a tool to cut the white line. Turn off the monitor's power and quickly turn on. The monitor automatically switches to front view. Pick up the second camera. Pick up the second video cable. Connect the 4-pin connector to the second camera. Connect another 4-pin connector of the video cable to AV2 on the first video cable. Connect the DC connector to the power outlet. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can see LED light. Remove the protective film on the camera. Touch the down key to switch to the AV2 channel. The image appear on the screen. Touch the down key again to switch to the AV1 channel. AV1 has a reverse priority function, and the image will automatically switch when you put it into reverse gear. After the reversing is completed, put into gear again, the image will automatically switch to the AV2 channel.
The second camera is recommended for baby monitoring or driving monitoring. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.